In this video, I'm going to tell you about my tiredness, my exhaustion during early pregnancy, and what I have been doing to help it out, and some other ideas that I haven't been doing that can help you out with fatigue and exhaustion during pregnancy. Hi, my name is Susan, and this is The Awesomes. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I am currently, how many weeks pregnant? 17? I think I might have just hit the 17 week pregnancy mark. So when I first found out I was pregnant, at about three and a half weeks, which is pretty early. Um, when I first found out I was pregnant, pretty much soon, as soon as I found out, or right after, I started to get really, really tired. So you might think, and I used to think, that tiredness during pregnancy was something that happened way later on when you got really big and the baby was using up a lot of energy and you were using up a lot of energy just to move around. But really, tiredness during pregnancy starts like as soon as implantation hits. So as soon as you get your big fat positive, like the tiredness comes on strong. So there are probably a few reasons for this, but one of the big reasons when it comes to like being tired right off the bat is due to a change in your hormones. So once your fertilized egg implants into your uterus, that sets off a series of events that creates like a raise, a rise in progesterone, as well as estrogen, but this rise in progesterone is what is going to make you really tired. And this is because progesterone increases the production of GABA, which is a neurotransmitter that helps with sleep. So really, if your levels of progesterone are high enough, you fall asleep. So this fatigue and exhaustion that I was experiencing really had an effect on my mood and my mental health. I felt like I was going through a really bad burnout. So yeah, I work in a restaurant. I also have this YouTube channel, obviously, you guys are watching me on. Um, and during the second month of my pregnancy, I was doing a little project where I was posting one video per day, so 30 videos in 30 days. And during that time, um, like I had just found out that I was pregnant, but at that point I was just kind of like, okay, I'm, I'm busy right now, <laughs> like I'm not really thinking about the pregnancy. So um, 30 videos in 30 days ended up being something that I felt was contributing to a burnout but it could have also just been the fact that I was tired and moody from my pregnancy and I was ignoring the fact that I was tired and moody and just trying to push through it. So the second month of my pregnancy, I dealt with like a lot of mental health issues, I guess. Basically, I just all boiled it down to I'm having a burnout, like a really bad burnout. Um, so then the third month of my pregnancy, the month right after that, what I did and what really helped me was, seems very obvious, but it was basically, I told myself that third month, like my main focus this month is to relax and to calm down and to, yeah, just basically relax. So I didn't create any videos, I didn't post any videos. Um, I was only working uh, one or two days a week at my job, I have a two and a half year old daughter that I watch full time, but during that time I was letting her grandparents watch her a lot more so that I could basically just relax and rest. And doing that, giving myself that time, really did improve my mental health and it really did improve. Um, so I no longer felt burnt out and I no longer felt like extremely exhausted. I felt kind of normal. So now I am into my fourth month of pregnancy and yeah, I'm definitely a lot more tired than if I wasn't pregnant, um, but mentally I'm doing a lot better and yeah, physically I'm not extremely tired. So my advice when it comes to that is, sounds very obvious, um, it is to relax, you know, you if you are tired, just relax. There's no point in trying to push through it, which is what I did during the second month of my pregnancy. I pushed through it, and it really just took me to a point where I was just getting lower and lower and lower, like mentally and, um, and physically. Um, so it wasn't until I turned that around and really like listened to my body and rested when I had to rest that I actually started improving my, <laughs> my mental health and my physical health 
um, when it comes to like how exhausted I was. So I know a lot of us are leading lifestyles where the whole idea is to just push through it. So our society is kind of based around like, you know, priding ourselves in being stressed out and priding ourselves in like how much we've accomplished every day. And yeah, who can push through it the hardest and who can be the most stressed out and still make it out alive. Um, but really, especially when it comes to pregnancy, but also if you're trying to conceive or also, you know, just if you're a human being, like, this is not a very healthy way of living, and if you do push and push and push and don't pay attention to your body, it's really not beneficial. So especially if you are pregnant, um, now is the time to not push yourself if you don't have to when it comes to stress levels and, you know, like pushing your body to ex its extremes. It's really not the time to be doing that. I know that it doing that can build character, but maybe choose to do that after you have had your baby and even a while after you have your baby. Because um, at this point in time, this point in your life when you are pregnant, you know, obviously we all li live our own individual lives, but I really believe that it is a time to focus back on yourself um, all of the symptoms that you're going to experience, be experiencing are really going to force you to start putting that focus back on yourself, back on your physical body, and back on your mental health. So we might as well not fight it and just appreciate this experience for what it is, which can be a reminder of um, how important it is to pay attention to ourselves and to take care of ourselves. So another recommendation or suggestion that I have for you if you are experiencing this exhaustion during early pregnancy is to get your blood tests done. So as soon as you go to the doctor, um, they're going to give you some blood tests to do right off the bat. So get those done because there could be the possibility that you have low iron or anemia. And that's something that is easy for your doctors to address, so they will uh, recommend that you take an iron supplement basically and this can really help improve your energy um, so if you don't need an iron supplement definitely don't take one but this is something to keep an eye out for and just a great reason to visit your doctor and make sure that um, everything else going on with your body is in order and to get your blood tests done so another tip when it comes to exhaustion sorry I know that Every time I move forward, I'm stepping into this light and it's like lighting up my nose. So I'll just back up. Is to drink a certain kind of tea. So this is nettle tea or stinging nettle tea. I'm just pouring it into my cup here. Um, and it is, so it's recommended by midwives. Um, so it's safe during pregnancy. It's like one of the... I don't know, few things, I suppose, that are safe during pregnancy. And it's supposed to give you a lot of energy. I did not drink this during my um, first trimester because I was so nauseous and every time I tried to drink it, maybe just because it was a new drink to me that my body was just like, eh, what is this? Um, every time I tried to drink it, I just felt more nauseous. I felt nauseous from a lot of different things. Um, but so what I do now, I'm in my second trimester now, so just recently I'm becoming less nauseous. Um, but what I also do now is I mix in a mint tea bag in there, and that really helps me because I've really been enjoying mint tea during this pregnancy. So sometimes if you brew this long enough, it'll be like black. But this is a tea that is full of great nutrients that are amazing for your pregnancy, and it's also said to boost your energy. So a friend of mine gave me two huge bags of this. She ordered it from iHerb, so if I can find a link, maybe I will link a thing to iHerb so you guys can purchase this. I'll put it in the, the description down below. Um, so she gave me two huge bags of this organic nettle tea. I'm only starting to drink it now, but she drank it during her whole pregnancy and her husband did as well and she said that they both, like she never drinks coffee and her husband used to drink coffee, but he switched it for this stuff and he said that he felt just as energized from drinking this nettle tea um, as he did from drinking coffee. So other things that can help improve your tiredness, your energy levels, 
during early pregnancy are definitely taking your prenatal vitamin as well as getting a really nutritious diet because your diet is definitely always, whether you're pregnant or not, is going to affect your energy levels. So things like whole grains, fruits and vegetables, um, good lean proteins if you can do organic, you know, whatever. If you can, it's great if you can, but I know it's difficult to find or afford. Having a great diet with a lot of whole foods, which I'm just going to be honest, my diet is not the greatest. So I'm not putting the pressure on you that your diet has to be the greatest. But they say that if you have a you know, well-balanced diet, then you, your energy levels are going to improve. Getting a little bit of exercise, a little bit of cardio exercise, might also help with your energy levels. Um, so I know this is really difficult to do. I'm still at the point where I'm like, I really don't want to exercise. But if you can go outside and get some fresh air and walk around a bit, then that'll get your blood pumping and help to improve your levels of serotonin in your brain. If you if you can, you know, work up a little bit of a sweat, <laughs> walk a little bit faster. Um, that's going to boost your serotonin, which in turn is going to give you a little energy boost as well. Definitely don't strain yourself during pregnancy. Don't do any like serious heavy lifting exercises or serious like strenuous cardio because that's really just going to make you more tired and could have a negative effect on your pregnancy. So definitely talk to your doctor about what sort of exercises are okay for you to do. This is something that might depend on your individual pregnancy as well, so it's best to talk to your doctor. But a little bit of cardio exercise is going to hopefully improve your energy levels if you can get out of bed and do them. Again, this is not about pushing through. This is just about, um, you know, doing what your body needs. So if your body needs to rest, then rest. But every once in a while, it's a good idea to go for a walk and get some fresh air. So usually when you get to your second trimester, you'll feel like you start to have more energy. So the nausea is going to decrease as well. This is not always, sometimes you might just feel like crap your entire pregnancy. But in general, usually the second trimester, it feels a lot better for women. And then by the third trimester, you'll probably be tired again, just because the baby is so big and your body is so big and you're lugging around all of this extra weight and extra blood and swelling, all these things. But generally the second trimester is better. So just try to make it through this first trimester and hopefully by the second trimester you have more energy. During that second trimester, you can start exercising more, um, like doing the cardio exercises, because in the long run, this is going to help you feel more energized during the last part of your trimester, and also potentially help the birthing process to be easier. So you can focus on those exercises that, um, that are targeted towards improving the birthing process, if you can find videos like that. I know there's probably a ton of yoga videos online on YouTube for that. Um, yeah, and just doing some sort of cardio as well is really going to help out your endurance, which is very important when it comes to the birthing process. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I know I haven't put a ton of tips in this video, um, but yeah, definitely try out the nettle tea. Get your blood levels, get your blood tests done so you can check out your iron levels to make sure you're not low on iron, which is really going to affect your energy levels. And listen to your body. If you need to rest, don't try to power through it. Don't try to ignore your body. Just um, do what your body is telling you to do and rest. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next one. Bye!